What's up YouTube? It's your boy Robopeta15 here, bringing you another YouTube video. Today, we're playing more Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 here. We are on episode 5 of this, I believe, and we are in the middle of a dungeon. So let's get back on into it, because I believe we are coming towards the tail end of the dungeon. To figure out what happened to uh, Umerio, I believe was his name. Umio, something like that. We have to find out what happened to Umio and the share crystal that he has. So we will be going through that, looking for all those kinds of stuff that we need to look for. Um, quick update to the party. We got Nepgear, Neptune, and Uzume all at level 9. They're all about to hit level 10 as well. So I will definitely be trying to... Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. There's an event right there. All right, we'll definitely be trying to get them to level 10, but let's hit up this event real quick. Actually, can we get that thing to notice us? Notice me, senpai. I don't think it's going to notice us. Oh, well, let's hit the event. Are those dogus in with the, with the baby bugs? I'm not gonna lie, that is quite a cute picture. That really is. Miss U Oh, crap. There's voice acting here. Hang on a second. Over here, over here! Miss Uzume is finally here! <clears throat> we'll be safe now! Huh? Who are those other two? Yeah, who are they? Whoa! There's a bustling bushel of baby bugs! Amazing! This might be the first time I've seen so many baby bugs in one place. Looks like there are about 30 in all. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Where's Umio? Umio distracted the monster, then escaped over that way. Please, hurry and save him before he ends up being eaten! Okay. You baby bugs are pretty tough to wait around here, even though it's so dangerous. Thank you all very much. Ah, oh, shucks. It's nothing. Please be careful. Some of these baddies look really strong. <laughs> no need to worry. I got these two super buff CPUs to help me out here. That's right. With me and Nepgear helping, helping out Uzume, those unruly monsters won't stand a chance. Yes, please leave it to us. I think my Nepgear voice changed. I should probably fix that coming up here. Anyway, baby bugs, that's the situation. So hide out in a safe place, and once it's all over, we, we'll call for you. Yikes! What's happening? There are so many monsters. So, these are the punks that jumped Umio. I kind of thought they'd be more ripped. Oh well, they'll go down easy. Miss Uzume, can you really defeat them? I think you already know the answer to that one, baby bug. Nepsy, Gearsy, let's go. Let's do it. I what? It, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I saw that, and the first thing that popped in my head was, is that Arceus? Miss, great. <laughs> I get it. I thought it was pretty hard to attack, but that bastard's got a physical barrier. Those wings are looking pretty suspicious. If I were to position myself in front and punch it, I might I might break him. I'm a force of fury. The parts break? There's some enemies that have parts that are destructible. The act of destroying said part is called parts break. So they don't have a guard system anymore. It's a part system on certain enemies. That's really cool. By attacking the enemy from the direction in which the part is located, you will deal damage to the part along with the main enemy. When the part HP reaches zero, the parts, a parts break will occur. It is, with formation skill, it is, it is possible to damage all parts at once. We will need to do that. Okay. Let's 
see if Dreams were here. Let's see if that gets a part break. Alright, let's do a formation skill. Yeah, there we go. Parts break. Alright, the enemy barrier disappeared. Now this now's the time to strike back, everyone. I messed up real bad. Oh shit, Uzumane's about to die. Shit. Got one more attack we need to do. Mega D drive to finish. Oh! Alright, we got another EXE drive gauge. Let's go ahead and do another try burst. You're ten years too early. For the sake of the others, I can't lose. There we go. We got a net bolt and a healing circle. There we go. I like that. Oh wow. So we got a bonus credit for the parts destruction. Okay. All right. I see. I see. And we level up off of that. Nice. All right. Up here is level 10 with Blitz Saber. Nice. And T Performance and Unique Ability. Okay. I'm getting even stronger. There we go. T Performance. That should be the last of them. I think you're right. Since there aren't any more monsters around, we should be able to look for Umio freely now. Hey, what's up with this Umio guy anyway? He's always calling Uzume with that mega classy voice of his. <laughs> He's probably so handsome. Umio, are you okay? Yes, I I'm alright. I apologize. I've caused you such unnecessary trouble. Oh, cut it out, Umio. I'm just glad you're here. I have some friends that want to meet you. Friends that wish to meet me. Nepsy, Gearsy, come over here. I have someone I want to introduce you to. Well, come on already. <laughs> I was thinking he was a fish. I was thinking he would be a fish that entire time. <laughs> what? A fish man with a seriously stoic face? The gap between his smooth voice and wild appearance is astounding. So you are the people Uzume wished to introduce to me. First, allow me to thank you for coming here to rescue me. I am eternally grateful. Despite his fishy appearance, his voice is godly, and his lines are so refined and smooth. Yeah, I was gonna say, because there's no other humans here, this Umio guy has to be something hilarious. Because I know the developers of this game, and they would not have, they would not have it be by the books like that. Isn't he adorable? Uh, adorable? Yeah, don't you think he could be like, a super adorable leisurely mascot character? If he was made into a cell phone strap, Uzume totally thinks it would get popular. <laughs> Neptunior, do you think he's adorable? No, not in the slightest. Uzume, you're doing it again. Oh! <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what's up. That being said, it is a first for me to see humans other than Uzume. I had come to believe they were all wiped out. A first? Wiped out? Hmm. It looks as if these two young ladies have yet to comprehend the gravity of our situation. Before it returns, let us move to a safer area. We can converse there. Before it returns? What does that mean? It would appear we were not quick enough in our exit. It must have caught wind of us and returned. <laughs> Is. It's the one we failed to finish off. Why is it here? It's uh, Mega Slaymon, that guy. I can only guess, but perhaps it ran away from us and ended up here in the city. Damn it! 
I'm so sorry, Umio. It was because of my negligence that this all happened. There is no time for that now. The opponent is wounded. Uzume, can you finish this? Of course! And I'm gonna end our fated relationship here and now! Alright, yeah, we have her at the front as leader. Um, I need to heal her. <laughs> she is going to die in this battle. Oh, we got a third uh, rush attack. Nice. Alright, so one thing I will do here is I'll have rapid hit be my last attack. This is a 185 one hit. Let's do it. So there we go. Now I can do I can do my standard attack, my square attack, and then two triangles to finish it off. That'll be nice. Okay. Um, one thing I need to check. All right, that works. That'll, that'll do. That'll do. So yes, we definitely need to heal Uzume first and foremost for sure. Just watch me, Umio. This time I'm gonna defeat that doggy. Oh shit, he can attack first. I'll be okay, he missed. He missed Uzume. Holy shit, that could have been terrible. I'll heal you. Alright, Neptune is okay. Um, I think Nep Gear is going to be able to take a hit, so we'll heal up Uzume all the way. Alright. Let's start off with a cross combination. Giga Slam on this time, eh? Three fourteen or so. Spiral dream. Okay. Um. I'm gonna save my formation attack for the last one. All right, we need to heal. I'm gonna have. Oh shit. She doesn't have any SP left. I'll use this. There we go. Get a little bit of SP back there. Spiral dream. Okay. I've been waiting. What should I do? Holy shit. Okay. You need to chill out, homie. This will be this health bar gone. Uh, I should be able to take one more of those. Alright, let's turn off our HDD. And now we're gonna go use our formation skill. There we go. Now let's finish him off with skill moves. I missed one of my cross combination attacks. Ooh, what should I do? it's kind of lethal. Mirage Dance, finish it off. I won't back down. Mirage Dance. Hey, I got one. Whoo! We managed somehow. We did manage somehow. <laughs> 
All right, we got a PSP charger. Nice. Those are actually very nice. All right, we got a 20 hit bonus. 1% of that, apparently. So that was 7 XP. We did a, we got a 5k damage bonus. Wow. Okay. There weren't any part destructions I think we needed. Uh, scout effect. What's that? Ooh, we're going to get that later. Yeah, we leveled up again. And now Uzume. Ooh, Terra D Drive. That's really good, actually. Yeah, level up. Uzume is actually a level behind now. Repeat waves. Learning. Okay. Yippee! We won! An amazing victory! It was a super easy victory thanks to you two being here. <laughs> That giant and I can finally duke it out without being bothered by that stupid mutt. Thank you so much, Miss Uzumi. We didn't know what we'd do when it appeared. How can we ever thank you all? Hey, it's no big deal. You guys found a share crystal for me after all. Uzume, here. This is what the baby bugs discovered. Thanks, everyone. Let us return for now. I'm sure you're all tired. Hmm. Who is that? Alright, dungeon cleared. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's head back to the base now. I choose you. Let's celebrate Umiya's rescue, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, is what I wish to say, but why is this a roasted fish party? Well, this is the only food I had on hand. Man, I'm glad I fished up so much for the, re for the reserve supply. I understand what you are saying, and I also understand that fish is the most abundant nutritional so resource in the area. But for me, this is basically cannibalism, and this is freshwater fish at that. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Aw, oh, man, I'm sorry, Umio. Don't fret, Umio. Uzume hears ya. I'll get you some krill in a bit. Krill? Hmm. Well, perhaps I will partake. I'm sorry too, Uzume. We wanted to celebrate your return, but we really didn't know how to prepare anything very elaborate. I can make simple sweets, but when it comes to meals, it's not really my strong suit. It's nothing. You need. It's nothing you need to apologize for, Gearzy. The gesture is more than enough for me. Thank you. By the way, oh, that was Death Gear talking. By the way, what do you, what do you two usually eat? I can't imagine there are many other foods. There are many other things available aside from canned foods. When necessary, we do utilize our canned goods, but normally Uzume prepares meals with anything she could find out there. Granted, they're simple dishes, of course, and we generally season and heat the gathered ingredients to create our meals. Oh, you guys should have your own survival reality show or something. So, have you ever eaten locusts or snakes or frogs before? Uh, oh my gosh, like seriously? No freaking way, Nepsi. Ew, slimy little frog legs. Totally gross. Frog legs are delicious, okay? Hmm. Uzbe, language. <coughs> Yeah, no way in hell I'd eat one of those ugly bastards. Aw, it'd be really cool if you were able to chow down on some exotic grub like that. Oh well. C cool? D do you mean I could be cool? Huh? Uzume's kind of cute getting excited about being cool. Um, duh! I see. So people think you're cool if you can eat frog. Huh. Maybe I'll try it out. Wait, don't get tricked, Uzume. Neptune, you gotta stop saying weird things like that to people. It's not very nice. <laughs> Sorry, Nepgear, I couldn't help it. Uzume, before I forget, the baby bugs gave these to me as a gift for helping them. Would you like to take some? Ugh, those are shiitake mushrooms. They're delicious if you roast them on a skewer, and the sight of you avariciously devouring them would be quite delightful. <laughs> Nuh uh, no, no freaking way. I don't care what anyone says, I'm never eating those things. D 
Dear me, your disdain for shiitake mushrooms is incredibly worrisome. Why do they have to be shiitake mushrooms of all things? Seriously. You don't eat shiitake, Uzume? I can't. Can't stand the taste or texture. It's truly a shame. They are very convenient. Shiitake mushrooms are exquisite, or exquisite, roasted, or boiled, and they perform wonderfully in soup stocks. Soup stock? I wouldn't touch one with a 10-foot pole if it was made out of share crystals. I'm not eating them! Uh... Well, anyway, now that we're nourished, I suppose it's time we explain what has actually transpired here in this nation. Now that we are nourished... I'm gonna say that next time I'm done eating. Additionally, I extend my deepest gratitude to you both for saving me. Now, could you tell me just how you both happened to come to this city? Some stuff and some things? So yeah, that's why we're in a bit of a bind. I see. I'm beginning to make sense of your unique predicament. So, you've come here from another continent, or perhaps have borrowed your way out of an underground nation, or you're delusional. I could construct several different theories, but I believe the most probable is that you've both come from another dimension. Ah, damn it. I hate to say it, but yeah, I mean, I guess we could have managed to venture to another dimension yet again. Yet again? May I, may I assume that you both ha have done this before? Journey to an alternate dimension, I mean. Yep, you're right. All, you're right on the money, my fishy friend. Man, we went through a lot of trouble to get back home last time, too. I hate dimension hopping. Time gets all wacky. We were gone for years, but back home only a few days had passed. Ridiculous! Ah, uh, I believe I understand now. So, how will we get home, Big Sis? If we're really in another dimension, we can't possibly even contact Histoire. Chin up, Nep Jr. At least we know where we are now. That's pretty good. If we know where we are, then we all we gotta do is find out where the path from here to home is. But how do we figure out what a path like that even looks like? Umio, are monsters really the only ones here? Maybe there are other people that have just gone into hiding somewhere very far away. Now that I think about it, did none of the CPUs from the, from the other nations survive? Where are they? I apologize, but as far as I know, the only CPU that exists is Uzume. There used to be, there used to be people here though, right? There are still traces of them left on the internet. Indeed, they existed a long time ago. Without knowledge of their existence, I would not have thought of you as human. However, when I was born, this world was already in this state of desolation and ruin. That's why I was quite surprised to meet you both. So, does no one actually know why... Oh, shit. So, does no one actually know why the world ended up in this condition? Uzume states that the giant, as she calls it, is the direct reason, but I believe, in I believe an even greater cause exists. Hmm. Would you take a look at this? It's some data I found, although it's a little broken. Hmm. This appears to be a journal. The text is buggy here and there, but this truly is quite fascinating. Umio, I'd like to investigate more about what's happened to this world. My ability might not be great, but allow me to help. We may uncover information vital to the safety and preservation of this world. Thank you very much. Incidentally, Uzume has been rather quiet for some time now. And she's asleep. Great. She appears to be in a deep sleep. This is unsurprising considering she was already exhausted before devouring that large meal. Oh, I'm so sorry for keeping you both up just to talk. I'm sure you're both very tired as well. Please, it's no trouble at all. Actually, Yumio, there's something I wanted to ask you about, Uzume. So, I noticed Uzume's personality and speech kind of change randomly once in a while. What the heck is up with that? She is... pushing herself. Pushing herself? Originally, she was a girl with a cheerful disposition. Much like when she transforms. What? Really? 
Even if she acted carefree, she was very earnest. She may be she may have believed that, as she was, we could not rely on her in this crumbling world. As she continued a life of survival and combat, her personality and speech slowly changed. To believe to believe Uzume was like that that in the past. That's why she's that's why she's so hung up with the idea of being cool, huh? There must be some part of her sub of her subconscious that relates being cool to being reliable. But one's personality is not something so easily changed. As Uzume has always been prone to daydreams, she often returns to her true self during those times. Uh, yeah, I definitely noticed that. Now then, it's quite late. We can speak of what our next steps will be in the morning. I'm sure you are both tired, so please, get some rest. Yes, you're right. <laughs> I really am exhausted from fighting today. Good night, Umio. Thanks for speaking with us. Good night. See you in the morning. Yes, good night. Pleasant dreams to you both. Oh, cool. That, that was an episode. Suddenly starting again today is Nep Station. With me, your host, Neptune. Today I'm joined by me, Uzume Ten Tenoboshi, with an awesome broadcast just for you. Man, I'm glad we were able to save Umio safely. Yeah, I was able to defeat that mutt too. It must be because I'm so cool. Well, let's forget about whether Uzume is cool or not for now. What? Since we're here, let's try acting out an episode preview thingy. Take it away, Uzume! After saving Umo Umio, what awaited Nepsi and company was another type of hell. Greed and violence settled in another destruction, a city of Platform Zero created after a hundred years of war. If you throw vice, treachery, corruption, and chaos into a blender, you get Zero Dimension. Next episode, Swirl. We'll have you follow Nepsi and us into hell. That wasn't really an episode preview in the slightest, but oh well. Bye bye I thought I could buy items through that, like I could in victory. Ah, oh, that sucks. And so we continue on with episode two, or the next episode, whatever we want to call it. Oh, Nep Junior, I want to eat pudding. Goodness, what should I do? There isn't any pudding around, and even if I wanted to make some, we don't have the ingredients. Pudding! <laughs> What's going on? I can hear you guys from outside. Greetings. Nepsi is lively as usual, I see. Oh, Uzume, Umio. We have a bit of a problem. Pudding! If I don't have any pudding, I'll die! Pudding! And there's our problem. Ah, I understand. Unfortunately, unless we somehow make it ourselves, we won't find any. No, 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 no! Pudding! Dear me, I'm finding it difficult to tell which one is actually the older sister. It may be Nepsi's influence, but now I want to try to eat some pudding. I want to try eating some pudding. Right? You want to eat pudding too, right, Uzume? That bittersweet taste of caramel sauce poured over a nice portion of cold, refreshing custard pudding. Even one day without it, without it causes this Neptune to feel all sentimental. Custard pudding, huh? But green tea pudding and chocolate pudding are great, too. Maybe we can go find some ingredients in some abandoned grocery stores nearby. If they had the base for pudding, we'd be even more super ultra lucky, right? If we found some, Uzume would totes want to make some yummy sweets and treat all her beautiful friends. Oh, it's been quite a while since I've made some. How about we make a whole bunch of different kind of different kind Whole, bu whole bunch of diff kinds of puddings and have a big pudipa together. Oh, when I say pudipa, it's a shortening. F it's a shortening for pudding. I can't do the voice that long. Holy shit! It's a shortening for pudding party. Doesn't it sound like ultra mega fun? <clears throat> so yeah, a pudding party might be kind of tight. So maybe we could try it out or whatever. But the problem is the ingredients. You need eggs and milk, right? With the world in this state, I don't think we're gonna find either. 
Wait, we might actually have some eggs. Hmm. Why are you staring in my direction? Hey, Nepsy, do you think you can make pudding out of fish eggs too? <laughs> fish eggs? Fish pudding? Wow, this might be a whole new breed of pudding on our plates here. This needs to happen for science. <laughs> I don't think you can make fish pudding sound tasty. It sounds absolutely atrocious. Just a moment, you two. I want you to calm down first. No matter how you look, I am a male fish. Even if you were to cut my stomach open, you wouldn't find what you're looking for. <laughs> Damn. Huh. <sighs> Until today, I had never, th I had never before thanked my parents for bringing me into the world as a male. You have your share of troubles too, don't you, Umio? All right then, Nepsi. It's still possible there are some ingredients left somewhere. Let's go search for them. You're right. Oh, even if we f only find enough ingredients for one spoonful, it's worth it. And they're gone. That they are. Alright, what do we got going on in the world? More conversations to have at the base. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call this an episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can as well. Either way, Panda, check in out.